Hey, another riddle for you. What's good for your eyes, but difficult to read? Stay tuned for the answer. G'day, I'm Dr. Mark Miller for Healthy Directions, and today I want to talk about tired eyes. So let's talk about glare. When you have a bright light, your pupils get smaller, and that's your iris muscles at work. These muscles get tired. Now let's talk about focus. It's a different group of muscles. These are the muscles that control the shape of your lens. And when you look at different focal planes, these muscles are contracting. Hey, in today's world, we're multitasking. And that means our eyes have to work extra hard. But there is a solution. Traditionally, we know that carrots are good for your eyes because they have beta carotene. But there's something that's even better for your eyes, and it's pink. It's called astaxanthin. It's good for your eyesight, but it's hard to read. So what is astaxanthin? Well, it's a carotenoid just like beta carotene, but it's pink and it's great for your overall eye health. Nutritionally, it's a little bit more difficult to get astaxanthin in your diet. It starts with this algae and goes up the food chain to shrimp and salmon and even flamingos. That's the reason why they're pink. But here's the catch. You really can't eat enough salmon to get the daily requirements of astaxanthin for eye health. The recommended daily dose of astaxanthin is six milligrams, and that's a lot of salmon. I do recommend that you eat salmon, but I also recommend that you take an astaxanthin supplement. My favorite form of astaxanthin comes from a company called Astoreal because it's natural. So think of astaxanthin as nutritional sunglasses. It's powerful and protective and great for your eyes. I'm Dr. Mark Miller for Healthy Directions. See you later.